guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you just how to service your forged motorsport diverter valves on your BMW N54. Now, the diverter valves need to be serviced every 20,000 miles. So you just go on Forge's website and pick the kit that you have for your car. Now they offer their service kit for all the diverter valves and blow valves that they do sell, so you're definitely covered. I have the stock replacement ones with upgraded yellow springs, which will take it from 15 to 23 PSI in that safety net there for those. Uh, and it is a long time coming for me to go ahead and service mine. And the service kit for the diverter valves that I have on my 335i, you're gonna get two new pistons, O-rings for everything that you need to replace for both of them since they have two, and some grease. Let's go ahead and take them on out. Go ahead and take a small flathead screwdriver. Once that's loose, you can just go ahead and pull that out. So here's what my diverter valves look like. Now I did change them to vent to atmosphere. So they are just venting down here. This hose goes to nowhere. It shoots the sound out from the diverter valve down. And then I have caps on both of my inlets. And the same for the back. This just goes nowhere. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these vacuum lines off. Pop that one off. Pop that one off. So I'm gonna take off my other hoses here. Other side. Pull that hose off. Continue with our fly head. Just down here on the charge pipe. Pull that out. Just take a microfiber towel. Take some channel locks. They like that. All the way around the base. And then start to unscrew it. Might be under some pressure, but just when you're opening it up, just be careful. Now to get the piston out of here, you're gonna wanna blow right here. That will shoot the pressure up and it'll pop it out for enough for you to grab. Just like that. That done. Go ahead and pull it out. There's our yellow spring and everything that we'll clean out with the rag here. And we're gonna be replacing this. That's the old piston, so I don't need to clean that off. Just go ahead and just clean your spring off. Set that aside. Just clean it thoroughly. I'm gonna take our pick tool here, because you do have some gaskets way down in here, but we'll go ahead and start with this one first. Take out your new gasket. Go ahead and slide it on this one here. All the way around. Okay, that's done. Pick tool, there's two down in here. Grab both of those. Clean it out some more after each time you pull it out. You're gonna lodge some additional grease, older grease that's down in there. And 
then take your new ones. So I got the bottom one in. Now there's another one that goes right around here. Do the same thing. You'll see the two new O-rings were placed right in there. Now we'll go ahead and get some grease. Get all around where those gaskets are. The whole internal wall at the diverter valve. Also do your little piston here and go ahead and get your piston. You also want to grease up the inside of the piston as well. The top and the bottom of the spring, since it will sit down in there. All right, so it looks like that. And drop your spring down in there. Drop your piston down in there. Now one little trick so you gotta get this cap closed here. Go ahead and retighten. Next, we're going to put the DCI back in. Get this back one all back in here. Snake it down in here. And then go ahead and retighten. Flathead screwdriver. Take care of a small flat head so we can get all the way in the back. All right, guys, there you have it. The quick and easy way on how to service your Forge Motorsport diverter valves. Now, like I mentioned, you want to do this every 20,000 miles and do their service kit. I'll drop a link for Forge's service kit that I use today down in the description box below. So if you guys are running these on the N54, you can go ahead and order the correct kit that you need. But just so you have the information on hand, this is going to be the kit that I installed today. Well, like I said, everything is in the description box below that I used today. Guys, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate all the support. Uh, big thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll check you out on the next DIY. Have a great day. Take care.